Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all A and B, the union of the singleton set of A and the singleton set of B is equal to the pair set of A and B. Now let's remind ourselves what singleton sets and pair sets are, or what property they satisfy. So given an object X, the singleton set of X satisfies the following property. So the singleton set of X satisfies the property that for all T, T is an element of the singleton set of X if and only if T is equal to X. So now, given objects X and Y, the pair set of X and Y satisfies the following property. The pair set of X and Y satisfies for all t, t is an element of the pair set of x and y, if and only if t is equal to x or t is equal to y. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start of the proof, since we're trying to prove a state about all a and b, let's give ourselves arbitrary a and b. Now we are going to show that these two sets are equal. And to prove that these two sets are equal, we can prove that this set is a subset of this set, and this set is a subset of this set. We're going to start off by showing that this set is a subset of this set. And to do that, let's give ourselves an arbitrary element of the union of the singleton set of A and the singleton set of B. I'll call it T. Well then, the union of two sets tells us that T is an element of the singleton set of A, or t is an element of the singleton set of b. So we're going to split this up into two cases. And in either case, we are going to show that t is an element of the pair set of a and b. So let's first consider the case that t is an element of the singleton set of a. Now since t is an element of the singleton set of a, by the property that singleton sets satisfy, this tells us that t is equal to a. And since t is equal to a, that implies t is equal to a or t is equal to b. But then, by the property that pair sets satisfy, this tells us that t is an element of the pair set of a and b. And so that's it. This completes case one. Now let's move on to case two, where t is an element of the singleton set of b. Since t is an element of the singleton set of b, well then by the property that singleton sets satisfy, that tells us t is equal to b. So since t is equal to b, that implies t is equal to a or t is equal to b. But then by the property that pair sets satisfy, this tells us that t is an element of the pair set of a and b. So this shows that no matter what case we have, it follows that t is an element of the pair set of a and b. So what we've shown here overall is given an arbitrary element t in the union of the singleton set of a and the singleton set of b, it follows that t is an element of the pair set of a and b. And that tells us that the union of the singleton set of a and the singleton set of b is a subset of the pair set of a and b. So we have shown that this set is a subset of this set. Now we are going to show that this set is a subset of this set. And to show that, let's give ourselves an arbitrary element of the pair set of A and B. Again, I'm going to call it T. From here, we want to show T is an element of the union of the singleton set of A and the singleton set of B. Now, since T is an element of the pair set of A and B, by the property that pair sets satisfy, that tells us T is equal to A or T is equal to B. From here, we are going to split this up into two cases. And in each of these two cases, we are going to show that T is an element of the union of the singleton set of A and the singleton set of B. Let's start with case one where T is equal to A. If T is equal to A, well then by the property of singleton sets, this tells us that T is an element of the singleton set of A. Now since T is an element of the singleton set of A, that tells us T is an element of the singleton set of A or T is an element of the singleton set of B. But then, this is precisely what it means for T to be an element of the union of the singleton set of A and the singleton set of B. 
And so we're done. This completes case one. Now let's move on to case two where t is equal to b. Well, since t is equal to b, by the property of singleton sets, this tells us t is an element of the singleton set of b. But since t is an element of the singleton set of b, that implies t is an element of the singleton set of a, or t is an element of the singleton set of b. But this is precisely what it means for t to be an element of the union of the singleton set of a and the singleton set of b. And so we're done. So no matter which case we have, it follows that t is an element of the union of the singleton set of a and the singleton set of b. And putting this together, we see given an arbitrary element t in the pair set of a and b, it follows that t is an element of the union of the singleton set of a and the singleton set of b. And that means we have shown that this set is a subset of this set. And so, because we have shown both of these inclusions, that implies that the two sets are equal. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.